using the same topology that we used to configure RIP version 2, let's configure RIP NG. I've already assigned some IP version 6 IP addresses to these routers like you see in this topology. Let's go through each of the routers, R1, R2, R3, enable IPv6 unicast routing, which is disabled by default, create a RIP NG routing process, and tell the different interfaces to participate in that process. To begin with, on R1, let's go into Global Configuration Mode, and let's say IPv6 unicast hyphen routing. Even though IP version 4 unicast routing is enabled by default, IP version 6 unicast routing is not, so we say that we want to do IPv6 unicast routing. And while we're here in global configuration mode setting up IPv6, I just want to make you aware of a couple of extra IPv6 global configuration commands that we might give from time to time. I'm not going to issue them in this example, but I do want you to know about them. The first one is IPv6 space CEF, CEF. That's going to enable Cisco Express forwarding for IPv6. And another global configuration mode command we might give when enabling IPv6 routing is IPv6 space flow set. This command is going to tell the router to do flow label marking on packets that it sends that are 1280 bytes or larger. But what this means is the router is going to be able to track destinations to which it is sending fairly large packets. It's going to make a record of that destination in the router's MTU cache. And once that cache entry has been made, the router can actually accept packets that are considered too big if they came from that destination that's been stored in the MTU cache. And of course, Cisco IOS does support several other IPv6 commands, but those are three big ones that I would want you to know about that we might issue in global configuration mode before getting into configuring a specific routing protocol. Again, they were IPv6 unicast hyphen routing, IPv6 Ceph, and IPv6 flow set. Now we can create the RIP routing process. To do that, we say IPv6 router RIP, and then we can give a name. I'm just going to call the name of this process FURB. Now we can go into the different interfaces and tell those interfaces to participate in this FURB RIP routing process. And notice that even though we're in router configuration mode here, and we could set up some things like timers, and we could set up poison reverse or split horizon, or say how many equal cost paths we could load balance between, notice that we're not giving any network statements here. It's not here in RIP router configuration mode, where we say, I want this interface to participate in RIP. No, we do that in interface configuration mode. And let's begin with interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0. I'll say IPv6 RIP. I'll give the name of the RIP writing process, which is FURB, and I'll say Enable. I want to enable it on that interface. Let's also enable this on Serial 1 slash 0. Let's go into Interface Serial 1 slash 0, and I'll just use the up arrow so I don't have to type that in again. And we'll say I want that interface to participate in this RIP writing process as well. And we're done on R1. Let's now go over to R2 and do a very similar configuration. We go into Global Configuration Mode and say IPv6 unicast-routing. Let's start the RIP routing process. I'll say IPv6 router RIP, and I'll choose to use the same name for the RIP routing process. We don't have to. It's not an autonomous system, but this will help me from getting confused about what the different process names are on different routers, so I will use the same name. Not required, though. Now let's go into our interfaces that are going to be participating in RIP. Let's start off with interface serial 1 slash 0, and we'll say IPv6 RIP, and the process name is FURB, and we want to enable that. Let's do the same thing for serial 1 slash 1, and we're done on R2. Let's now go to R3. On R3, we'll go into global configuration mode, and once again say IPv6 unicast hyphen routing, Let's start the RIP writing process. IPv6 router RIP FURB. And let's go into interface serial 1 slash 0. Are you seeing the pattern here? It's fairly easy once we get going. We're going to say IPv6 RIP FURB. Enable. One more interface to go. Let's go into fast ethernet 0 slash 0. 
and say, we want you to participate as well. And we have now configured RIPNG to support IP version 6 routing in this topology. In our next video, we're going to give a series of verification commands to make sure that this is working as expected. We'll see you back in the next video for verification.